Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel SRHBAC. In today's video, we will understand how to use Macway Duck Sizer. In this tutorial video, we will guide you through the essential concept and functionality of Macway Duck Sizer. This is the Macway Duck Sizer which is used widely for designing of the duck efficiently as well accurately. Whether you are a student or you are a HVCS technician or someone you want to enhance their skill, this tutorial video guide you the basic concept to practical application. We will take up a small project so that you can understand properly. When those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe so that you never miss an industrial insight tips and tutorials. So, friend, let's start our today's topic: Macway Duck Sizer. This is the Macway Duck Sizer. Okay, used for designing of the duct. Okay, on the top you can see this is exit. If you press this one, it will exit. You want to print this data, you can click this one. You want to clear all the data, just I want to click it see all the data has been cleared this is the unit either you want inch or you want in metric you can change okay. and the next one is about this is the about macway duct software okay friends these are the parameters we have to change accordingly this is the flow rate this is the cfm we have to put here the cfm and we can use either head loss or you we can use velocity both simultaneously we cannot use either we can use head loss or you can use the velocity then it will give the equivalent diameter then if you want in uh, rectangular duct you can give the size here okay this is about macway duct software okay now before designing of the duct three things we have to keep in mind what are the type of application where it, we are going to use the ducting okay suppose if it is in residential the velocity and the head loss will be different if it is a commercial then it will be a different head loss and velocity if it is a industrial it will be different velocity as well as head loss Okay, before designing in the duct in Macware software, we have to consider these things. In Macware duct sizer, we have two types of method. We can use either by equal friction method. You can put here equal friction how much 0.08 to 0.1 or whatever it is. It will give the equivalent diameter as well as the size of that. You just you have to put the height. Practically, we will also see. The next one will be velocity method. The velocity will remain the same throughout the duct. You have to click the velocity this one check it and we have to put the velocity how much you want according to the area okay equivalent diameter and the rectangular duct will also come and one more thing we have to keep in mind the aspect ratio width and the height it should be minimum 1 is to 1 and the maximum will be 1 is to 4 for example if your height is 100 mm it should not be go more than 400 mm be, uh, if you do more than 400 mm it will be create noise as well as well as there will be a head loss so friend let's see a small project that i have done already i want to show you how we calculated the duct size okay this is the this is the area we have to cool okay i have done heat loading already heat load i have done we have taken a duct table unit i have selected 4tr this is 1377 cfm okay the airflow is 1377 cfm okay we can check this is the diking catalog from where i fetch the data you can see this is fx and q 125 pvv 36 the CFM is 1377. Okay, you can see the CFM is 1377 for 4TR ductable unit. So we have taken this one. Okay, so I have designed the duct according to the 1377 CFM. Okay, now we will take up the software. Okay, we are going to use 75 degree Fahrenheit and 50% RH and one atom. Okay, and we are going to input here 1377 the CFM of the machine. Okay, now head loss it is asking for a head loss in inch water column per 100 feet. From where we can find this? I have taken from the Ashre handbook. You can see Ashre handbook table number one recommended maximum duct velocity for low velocity system. Okay, so we are designing for the application is residence. So the supply duct will be main duct will be below 1000 cfm okay 1000 sorry 1000 fem not 1000 cfm 1000 fpm flow per minute okay okay friends i hope you have understand up to this one if the application change then the velocity also change if it is uh, office or theater or auditorium it will be 1300 it will be fpm of 1300 1300 cfm if it is industrial it will be 3000 it will change accordingly according to the application that we have already discussed so I am put here I want to put here first below 1000 CFM so I will give you giving it 950 okay so it came around 0.8 okay so I am going to select this one only 13 
0.77 and I am going to hit here 0.08 okay it is 940 so it is exactly so you can see the equivalent diameter also came it is 16 inch you can design this one if it is a circular one i have taken 16 inch diameter so as the architect i already told me the, the distance between the slab height and the ceiling it will be 14 inch so i cannot go beyond 12 or 14 inch okay so i am going to put here height 10 inch you can see the duct sizer is coming 10 and 24 10 is the height and 24 is the width okay friends i hope you have understand up to this one so friend as you can see it is giving the rectangular size you can change the unit also you can see this is 250 by 600 okay you, you can see i have already put 600 by 250 okay this is the metric one okay this is the inch one because we are using in the metric one for designing in the duct we have to give you can see the flow rate is it is saying 650 liter per second okay 0.68 pascal per minute okay this is the mm for if you want to uh, use circular dia this is 412 so you can use 450 also i am using rectangular dia so it will be 250 by 600 okay so okay friends so the next one will be the remaining will be as we have taken three shoots it will be 459 okay so i am going to put here again 459 459 okay friends so you can see it is 10 by 10 okay so i am going to use maybe 8 8 by 12 okay so i have to change here the dia for this duct okay friends i hope you have understand up to this one you can see 200 by i will use 350 200 by 350 okay 200 by 850 okay friend up to this one we have used the acoustic then we have the thermal insulation this is for the supply one we have taken the shoot okay and this will be a linear grill 6 inch linear grill for supply and return i hope you have understand up to this one mcway duct sizer okay we are going to see one more project okay friends so friend we are going to see one more project small project this is a auditorium we have put at four 5.4 unit ductable unit of 2047 CFM each okay so we have done the ducting already just i want to show you how we have calculated this one okay so for this one we have to check first what is the HRA data of for auditorium okay so i have fetched already the data this is the residential we have calculated already and we are, you can below that one you can see theater then auditorium it is saying 1300 fpm okay it should not be go beyond 1300 okay friends so we are going to calculate it according so we are going to open the duct sizer we are going to give 75 degree fahrenheit and 50 percent rh okay so i have already put 2047 and uh, our equal friction method it will be 0.1 inch water column per 100 feet okay the fpm is coming 1130 okay it is below 1300 so this is okay you can see here if i change this to 12 it will be 24 okay but i want to give the other clearance is very less so i am going to use 250 mm okay change the unit you can see 250 by 750 okay but uh, okay you can see here i will use 30 by we have to change in the even even ducting we have to change it to even ducting now 28 we are going to use 30 inch okay 10 by 30 inch you can see we have already put 30 by 10 inch width will be 30 inch and height will be 10 inch the after reducing this two shoots diffuser it will be remaining 1366 okay 1366 we are using equal friction method okay so you can see it is 10 by 21 okay already came 10 by 21 so we are going to use in even number so 22 we are going to use 22 okay friend i hope you have understand up to this one we have calculated for the last one also 684 you can see 684 684 you can see 10 by 12 or the height i have reduced it so you can have 8 so it is coming 15 i have taken the 16 even number i have taken okay you can see in the metric also this is 400 by 200 duct i have used the equal fraction method by using mcway duct sizer okay okay friends 
I hope you have understand about Macrate Duck Sizer. Friend, if you like my video, please subscribe, comments. There are a lot more content coming up in your way. See you in the next one.